Okay, okay, so let me get this straight. You'll give Aussie Villain Racing 130 grand a week, but you'll double that if I outqualify Latifi. All right, welcome aboard. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome to episode four of the Aussie Villain Racing My Team Career Mode Challenge. And well, today it is Azerbaijan, it's Baku, and after the disaster of Monaco, uh, well, it can't go much worse, can it? Let's be honest. Um, now, well, we'll go through uh, roughly what's happened at the factory before we get to uh, the race, and there is going to be a slight format change for the race, thanks to all the feedback on uh, on the Discord, on Twitter as well, and also in the comments. Uh, we are going to make it just a bit of a tweak, so hopefully the racing is um, a little bit more competitive. But uh, the big, well, let's start with the, the messages here. You can see we have had a power unit upgrade from Mercedes, so thank you very much for that, Mercedes. Uh, they've introduced a new uh, upgrade package into the power unit, so hopefully we'll notice some improvement in the next race. So we'll wait and see if we do or not. Baku, we could do with every bit of uh, power advantage we can find coming up that uh, was a two point something kilometer straight. So uh, there we go. Now we haven't had any other upgrades to the facilities themselves. If you see at the top right there, if I go to R3, does that bring up, where's R3? Does that bring up the finances? No, it doesn't. But yeah, anyway, you can see at the top there, we've got 1.4 million in the bank. Uh, so we're not going to, we're not updating any other facilities just yet. We will do that, obviously, as, as time passes by and we get a little bit more cash. Now, R&D, this is where we have had, uh, we have had some upgrade. You can see, um... You can see on the little, on the left hand, right hand side there, sorry, that we are below uh, Alfa Romeo, we're sort of third bottom in the train. Now we don't have anything new for this race, but coming up for France, we do have two upgrades. They're not going to be, unfortunately, I was really hoping we could get the, the major upgrade there, the rear downforce. Um, it was basically the uh, same downforce with less drag, which would have been really good because we've got back Baku and then we've got Canada, two sort of power tracks. So it would have been really good if we could have got that rear downforce thing done a little bit sooner, perhaps. Um, but anyway, we'll have that for, uh, for, as you can see there, June 21, which is before the French Grand Prix, and the same with our minor uh, engine upgrade. Again, I would have liked to have had that for these power tracks, but there's, you know, there's still Austria coming up. France itself has a couple of long straights, so it's never a bad time, is there, really, to uh, to get that done. So hopefully we'll see the benefit of that when that comes around. Um, and the progress history we can see there, we're still, well, we're still roughly where we are. Uh, now, if we have a look at the vehicle itself, we haven't had to make any changes um, to any power units yet, though you can see the internal combustion engine. It's a it's just starting to wear a little bit, 47% wear. Um, we've got about another 121 laps left. Now, we get three for the year. It's a 20 race championship. Uh, so 20 divided by three will tell you that we are going to need to do a little bit more with some uh, with some engines. I was tempted to change it actually for this one, but just because it's a power track. But we'll try it. We'll try and, and get away with it as long as we can. Everything else, though, you can see is uh, is is fine in terms of where it's just the internal combustion unit that is just ever so slightly starting to starting to wear. Gearbox absolutely fine. We've got another three races to go with that. Um, I thought when we retire, you could get another one for free, but can we get another one for free? How does that work? Uh, no, see, it's going to give us a penalty. But anyway, I think in real life, if you retire, you are able to get uh, a, a new gearbox, but obviously that hasn't quite come through on the game. Now, this is the other big news, and you did sort of uh, hear in the intro there, we have a secondary sponsor. Somehow in Monaco, we've got enough acclaim. <laughs> certainly wasn't for me uh, to get a secondary sponsor. So you can see there, out qualify our rival. We get 132 and a half grand a week and if we out qualify our rival which currently is nicholas latifi we'll get an extra 136 grand which is nice so you can see at the top there um our total weekly income from our sponsors is just over half a million dollars which is brilliant and uh if we come second last in the championship we can see there we get the 3.2 million bonus from rgb as well um now, is there anything else here we update you on? Oh, the other thing is you can see if you look at the driver perks, our power mapping has gone up. I paid for that upgrade for myself. That basically will reduce engine wear for us by 10%, um, given that the engine is just starting to wear a little bit. I thought that might be something worth doing for the sake. I think it's a quarter of a million dollars it costs to do that. So I was kind of just hoping that that, I'm hoping that that will work out. Um, there's not too much else. Driver market isn't really open yet. Uh, we can see how the finances are looking and um, yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're making money, which is what you need to do, obviously. And if we go and have a look at uh, this, actually, no, what was the other thing I wanted to show you? Oh, you know, it is. It's, it's in uh, standings are all as they were. We're still last in the constructors. And obviously, we are last in uh, the drivers as well, which is a bit disappointing. Um, 
and if we go and have a look at the rivals and you can see there it is Nicholas Latifi for six more races so let's hope we can uh, out qualify him with an absolute minimum the other thing I want to show you is we have customized the car livery a little bit I did I kind of knew you could do this but at the same time didn't uh, what we've done if I can figure out how to move around the car a little bit uh, you'll see that we have uh, we've added all the sponsorship logos onto the car so that's kind of a silly thing that I did. How do I turn to get... Anyway, you can kind of see there, we've added the, the logos on. Um, so yeah, that is... Uh, we have a few more a few more bits and pieces moving around the car right now. How, I want it to turn. Why want it... Oh, here we go. Really give it a turn. There we go. So that's... Uh, yeah, you can see all the sponsors on the car now. So that is uh, that is good. I, I like, really like our livery. I really think it looks... Uh, very very cool if only it uh, drove as fast as it looks um all right so that is basically everything caught up on i think rear wing the ignition new sponsor power mapping and the mercedes upgrade so that means we have to go and uh go off to monaco no we don't we have to go off to baku all right so if we go into the workstation here and have a look at our messages we can see the weekend preview there's the Azerbaijan track. It's uh, an interesting looking track, isn't it? But we'll see how we get on. Developments at the car. It is just the, that general wear upgrade from Mercedes. The weather forecast. Um, oh dear. That looks suspiciously like rain for the race, doesn't it? I'm going to have to drive in the rain. That could be interesting. All right, guys. I'm going to do free practice. I will see you back for uh, for qualifying one. I will be live coming qualifying still, but then the race will be... I'll just be concentrating on my driving for that. And... Um, yeah, well, let's hope free practice goes well. Okay, free practice is done. We had, there was a decent free practice. Now, one thing I did want to show you, uh, if we go across here to simulation settings, is that uh, we're still at 75% uh, difficulty, but we put the simulated damage back on. Now we're not at Monaco and I'm bouncing off everything in sight. So that is that. Let's go and have a look qualifying. You'll notice the race is going to rain. Now, luckily, FP2 did have a little bit of wet weather traf uh, wet, wet weather running, so I've got my eye in a little bit. We've altered the setup for wet weather conditions. Now, given we're going to have to run the setup we have in the race, in qualif sorry, in qualifying in the race, we're going to be qualifying with a wet weather setup, so that might compromise us a little bit, but let's see how we get on. Almost forgot to turn the camera back on again. All right, here we go, coming up for the start of our lap break just before the 100 meter board turn her in and go now this is always a little bit tricky to know exactly where to break a little bit after the 100 meter board is usually the sweet spot nice and early on the gas spun the wheels up a little bit there now remember we have to beat nicholas latifi in qualifying to get the sponsorship bonus so that's going to be the goal here just before the 100 meter board again turn her in on the gas nice and early there we go just before the 50 meter board on the brakes we go turn her in and a little bit of a correction there, but not too bad. This is really tricky because the secret I've discovered is making sure you get the good exit rather than the good entrance. I'm not sure that was a brilliant exit, but it was better than it could have been. Now, this is also another tricky corner. Difficult to get all the lock on I need. I think we did that without hitting the wall. This is fun, but risky, this section. Let's go in, around, keep it tight to the wall so we can get the exit. Oh, what? Damn. Qualifying flashback. One for all time's sake. All right, let's nail this a little bit better this time, please. Close to the wall, don't hit it. Oh, on the gas, nice and early. Not too early to go out to the wall. So far, so good. This is all flat. Get over to the wall, break in a straight line just after the 100 meter board. Turn her in, I think I may have hit the wall there. I've hit the wall there for sure. We're almost done, so let's keep it going though. From wing. Yeah, Only thanks, Jeff. If it takes too much I'm damage. aware of that. That's way too wide. <laughs> that's, that's the lack of front down force. Now, this could be tricky with the lack of front down force. You've really got to keep it flat or else you're just going to drop too much time. We've done that okay, though. And let's see what we have. DRS zone coming up momentarily. There it is. And let's see. I think the best lap I did in free practice okay, was a 142. On the we can't sustain this level of damage. And we've done a 142. So look at this, we've got out of Q1, I did have a second go, but it wasn't, it didn't go any faster, but we've qualified in, in Q1 14th, that means not only are we out of Q1 for the first time ever, we've out-qualified uh, Latifi, which is absolutely huge, and, um, well, I mean, we're not that far off Kimi Raikkonen, could we find ourselves, well, no, we've got to get to Q1, we've got to find just over more than half a second, which maybe is in there, but possibly not, but anyway, let's go on to Q2, this is exciting. 
All right, so for the first time ever, an Aussie Vinland racing car is in the Q2. We've only got the one fresh set of tires. So we'll go in early and see if we can get a good lap out there. And then, well, I mean, this is really, after this, we're, we're going to be using second-hand tires. The tires I did my second attempt on at in Q1 might be okay. I sort of abandoned it about three-quarters of the way around. So we might get something out of them, but this is going to be our best shot. Good exit. I was a bit too conservative there, wasn't I? There was more time to be had. Alright, we get a good exit up the inside curb. Hasn't affected us too badly though, I don't think. That was okay, that was pretty good actually. Alright. Don't worry about what happened there, it's absolutely fine. Oh, the wall. Not literally, of course. Oh, there we go. It was a little bit late on the gas there. I didn't trust myself to get on the racing line. But in the end, that's worked out okay. This, so far, so good. Let's cut wood and see if we can do this corner. Oh, it's almost perfect. I thought I'd gone in too deep, but it was brilliant. Last corner of notes. Oh, I haven't broken enough. I've, oh, I hear Lewin Hamilton say that, don't you? Oh, I didn't break enough. Oh, whoa! That's, 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 let's have another go at that. Alright, I've left my mistake in, because that's not fair otherwise if we go back and <laughs> take that out. But let's see what we can do here. It, it, it's felt like a pretty good lap. There's a couple of corners where I haven't quite nailed it. But let's see what we can do. Are we going to be looking at a potential Q3? We've moved up the fourth to 141, did that say? All right, here we go. We're going to have a second attempt. It's the same set of tires. So it may not... Well, it's going to be tough to, to better our time. But we'll see how we go. Can Vettel please get out of the way? Mr. Sebastian Vettel, get the f*** out of the way, you stupid German. All right, we are up. So that's something. Nice and early on the gas. All right, can we? One thing we will have by abandoning that last lap, of course, is the battery power back. Come on, Danny. One Australian to the next, mate. Let's get out of the way, please. You're going to beat me anyway. Just get out of my way. Right now, Danny. Over the side. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Always did like Danny Rick. And I've held him up there. <laughs> Alright, that is so intense. Go a section. On the gas. On the gas. On the gas. I think I hit the wall, but it's okay. We're still going a little oh, bit faster. Front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. Oh, we've definitely lost front down force. We've definitely lost front down force on the brakes. Oh, no. Are you okay? Well, that's us. That was a big one. Confirm Let's see where okay, we came. Please. So we weren't quite good enough to get out of Q2, but we have qualified 12th. That is very, very much a personal best. Now, of course, the, uh, the race is going to be wet weather. That's going to be interesting. Let's, um, well, let's go to the race. With, With the, the race, race minutes, minutes away, away from, from starting, starting here's, here's what today's grid rundown, rundown looks, looks like. like. Lewis, Lewis Hamilton lines, lines up on pole position, position and it's Valtteri Bottas that, that completes the front row. row. Looking, Looking at, at the, the rest, rest of today's grid, grid we have Norris, Leclerc, Max Verstappen and Perez, Sainz, Vettel, Stroll and Oldtimer, Gasly, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo, they've taken a grid penalty, and Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher and George Russell, Latifi, Sonoda, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty, Mazepin and Artem Markelov. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So there we go, two grid penalties and we're starting in the points. That cannot possibly go wrong. Our race strategy, wet. Um, yeah, I, mean, I guess we just try and go, go the distance. I don't think there's a mandatory pit stop, is there? Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do this. So, wet race, this could be very, very interesting. So because I'm a massive idiot that forgot to record the entire replay, this is what we're left with. Um, so we just got the highlights, but uh, very, very wet race. 
Uh, you can see us on the inside there. Unfortunately, I can't change the camera view, I don't think. No, we're just stuck with this. Uh, tried to got the inside there. You can see we kept our 10th spot, which was good. Massively on the gas too quickly. Spun, <laughs> spun the wheels up to the inside. Did our best not to hit somebody. This is now the end of the first lap. What we did have about uh, halfway through the first lap was our uh, ERS issue. It was an ERS something with the engine anyway, so we were down on power. You can see there, it was Alonso and Gasly, I think. No, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, Ricardo and Gasly that tried to burn part. Well, they did get past us. I went in deep into the first corner there, trying to keep them behind. Uh, lit up the rears again, and that was pretty much then, I think, all they wrote. Uh, well, no, we went in deep there. That's right, to keep them behind, and they get us down this straight. We were down on power. There was literally nothing we could do, which was so, so disappointing given, you know, we finally had a good qualifying session. So as if the rain wasn't bad enough, I was in too deep there. Um, and then, yeah, they, they just both got us out dragging us off the corner, which is fine. Uh, not fine, but, you know, there was nothing we could do about it. So we're down to P13 at this point. Um, you can see how wet it is. You, I, I couldn't see anything. It was really, really tricky. Lit up the rears into the wall. Um, that damaged the front wing a little bit not too badly as you can see uh, we had a nice train behind us but what that lack of downforce meant is that when we come off this corner here we just weren't able to turn into the wall we go now thankfully this brought out a safety car which helped us a little bit uh, as we go to lap five but uh, what we weren't able to do of course it wasn't a major safety car we actually weren't able to catch the safety car before they restarted we restarted about 10 seconds behind so it was ourselves, it was Yuki Tsunoda, and it was Nicholas Latifi, our rival, that were uh, that were at the back. Uh, you can see there, Tsunoda got past us, which is to be expected. Uh, we moved to lap seven. This is us battling with Latifi, who got past us. Again, you know, we're lacking straight line speed, which in the wet, obviously, it helped. It didn't damage us too badly, um, but it obviously hurt us enough. You can see Ricardo retired, so top Australian uh, last lap, desperately trying to catch. You can see they were... They're right there, Markolov was holding up the TV for us. Um, but yeah, last lap, just got a bit excited on the gas, trying to trying to catch them. Lost the front wing, and then that was us finishing in 21st. But uh, I think our weekend was better than that. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So there we go, a difficult, uh, difficult race in the wet. Learning experience, we'll put it down to that. And uh, well, it promised so much, but in the end, uh, it delivered so little, didn't it? Uh, so we can see all the way that everybody finished there. And uh, yeah, you know, top Australian, we'll, uh, we'll build on that. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great weekend for Australians in Formula 1, was it? But uh, there we go. George Russell was driver of the day, but thankfully didn't score any points. So if we go and have a look at the standings, uh, we'll be able to see that... Uh, well, there's the driver standings. Obviously, we are nowhere to be seen in that. And uh, Constructors, we're still bottom. But thankfully, Haas, Alfa Romeo and Williams also don't have points. So... You do wonder if that had been a dry race, would we have been able to uh, hang on to a top 10 finish? <sighs> Probably not, but you never know, I suppose. So there we go. Very, very sorry. What an idiot I am. I won't make that mistake again, that's for sure. But I just forgot to save it. What an idiot. But anyway, I apologize. Uh, we'll try again. And uh, the next race, of course, is the Canadian Grand Prix. 21st again, but I think, as I said, I think we were better than that. You didn't obviously have to go through all the torture of the wet race, but uh, hopefully, well, I, I should be better, for, you know, it's a learning experience. But that's all for today. Uh, if you did enjoy that, please do hit thumbs up. Top 10 on the grid, that's a big step forward, isn't it? Out of Q1, uh, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time for the Canadian Grand Prix, where I will save the replay. Take care.